Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. It is time for us to continue this quest of... Uh, well, basically it's gonna be quell a new frenzy Pokemon or something like that. It's, <laughs> it's usually how this goes. We unlock new Wardens one after another, pretty much. So, let's see who's next. Ah, the Electrode, of course. The Electrode, known as the Lord of the Hollow, is somewhat different from the Electrode I recall. But its electrical discharges at least are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokémon that can withstand electricity. It must be difficult being a Pokémon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as Electrode. Then becoming frenzied to boot. So true, it's a tough old life for Pokémon and humans alike. Oh, this lady or guy, don't even know, <laughs> to be honest. Very androgynous person. Well, well, Warden Ingo of the Pearl Clan, and oh my, the Galaxy Team Grant from before. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the Great Electro, the Lord of the Hollow. But, by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle you'll ever face awaits you right here. Battle me if you dare. Uh, oh, really? It's only no? Okay. <laughs> I thought he would say, oh yeah, sure. Hmm, well then, let me tell you the great Melis take on this whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of Almighty Sino's favor and protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell out that uh, that's a good thing? We must let my lord frenzy as it may to demonstrate to Almighty Sino that the Diamond Clan lives as is right... Ah! Eh? Ah no! <laughs> Diamond Clan lives as is right and good. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. This may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I am here on this Earth. What business is it of the Galaxy teams anyway if Electrode lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains? Well, I guess to some degree uh, this person has a point, right? I mean, uh, as long as Electrode is not harming anyone, Electrode can go as crazy as, as it wants, right? Really, you should do us all a favor and slink back home to that village of yours rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage. What a selfish outlook. These frenzies cause the Pokémon themselves such suffering. Oh, okay, okay, well, now we have a reason. <laughs> But what is it you want to do, Django? Uh, press on, obviously. Obviously. Very well. The tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneasler, Django, you must pass through here, Wayward Cave. Here you'll find Pokémon like Golbat and their ilk, which are quite at home navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch your step. Okay, obviously, as in every Pokemon game, there's always a cave, and it was about time, I guess, we found uh, one for this game. So here it is. Well, this is odd. The torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Could this be Meli attempting to obstruct us? Either way, there's no need for concern. I know my route, and or route, I guess, and I'll conduct us safely. No darkness nor foul weather will delay us. Onward we roll. Take care not to come uncoupled from me. Oh, okay. I see. So I guess I should. I just need to follow this guy. I recall faintly that I had a partner once, a precious one. Okay, he's gonna tell me his story. Its name escapes me, but I remember that it wielded flames with mastery. If only it were here, I'm sure it would light the way, luring us onward. Please forgive the unscheduled stop. Oh, there's an alpha acrobat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone so competent as you. But given the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest of safety. Yeah, sure. Take care to not come uncoupled. Yeah, sure. I will follow you. I'm starting to recall a man who looked like me, with battle and discuss Pokemon, I think. The words I like winning more than anything else flashed through my mind just now. 
will soon be arriving at Wayward's cave exit. Okay? Even if the memories themselves have faded, it appears much still lives on in my heart. It's good to have you, man. Uh, it's good that you know the way. This is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Wait, could those be... Ah, some torches that we can light up, I guess? Let me put those torches back where they belong. This darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. Nice. I beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed, ready for departure. If you follow the track marked by torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave. Okay, pretty good. And I suppose now we finally see wild Pokémon that we can catch. I think the Crobat is here, right? Or, or is it no longer here? Or maybe we just left it behind. Uh, well, okay. I guess we will... We will ignore the Crobat for the moment. Can I use Basculigion here? Yeah. Yeah, we can. I guess uh, it's kind of weird because... Uh, is there like an open... I don't see like any open path to the sea here. But I suppose there must be somewhere, right? Otherwise... Well, I mean... <laughs> it's either that or... Or just Basculigion is some sort of magical Pokemon that you can summon anywhere you are. Anyway, let's not... Uh, this is Pokemon after all, I guess. Uh, there's no point in trying to find logic <laughs> in the things that go on in this world. Oh, there's the Crobat. There's the Crobat right there. I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see anything. There are some gold bats here. I might as well fight them. I could even try catching them, I suppose, but I don't know if it is worth it. Oh, it's level 42 even. Oh, and I don't think... Wait a minute, Samurot is probably not the greatest choice. I'm gonna change to Luxray, because I'm I'm worried that Golbat knows... You know, Mega Drain, Giga Drain, something like that. So, I think I will go with Luxray and it's gonna be much safer. Let's go with Thunderfang. In the strongest style, of course. Yeah, I mean, obviously you will defeat Golbat, but uh, again, defeating this Pokémon is also part of the Pokédex, so I don't really care. I might as well defeat this one, too, because why not? And we make some progress, right? It's gonna be quick anyway, so... We just do one Thunderfang and that should do it. So let's go for it. And then there's that stone that I saw here. I suppose a rock type Pokemon is gonna pop out. Uh, ah, no, that's a Gible. Okay. That's interesting. It's level 23. Hmm. Well. It's level 23. I think anything that I can do with this Pokémon is gonna kill it. Um, let's see. I got the Omega with Ancient Power. That's not very effective. Uh, I could also use Ponita. Okay, I will go with Ponita. With some fire moves. Maybe that will be... Although the thing is, Gibble might know some super strong move against me, but okay, I, I'll risk it, I'll risk it. Yeah, there's the Bulldoze. Okay, there's the Bulldoze. Um, let's go for Ember, strong style. I still don't think it's gonna kill Gibble. Yeah, as I imagined. Okay, Ponita is gonna faint, but that's fine. That's fine, no worries there. Let's go with Drift Bleam, I guess. And let's give it a shot now. So, switching back... No, 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 sorry. Switching back to Ultra Balls. Let's give it a try. Oh, 
Okay, nice. We caught Gibble. Very cool. Uh, very annoying that I lost uh, Ponita in the process, but uh, hey. It is what it is. And just like that, we're outside now. Professor Lavington told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Haisui, a region whose name I'd never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokémon, which is why I eventually became a Warden. But I still, still I wonder what my true purpose is here. Yeah, the search for purpose. I know, that's a struggle in itself. Oh, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. Alright, make your way up the mountain with Ingo. With Ingo? Is he with me? No. No, I guess I will find him up there. Oh, there's a hair cross there. I will go catch it in, in a few minutes. Well, seconds. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, let's see. Wait, wait a minute. Before. No, come on, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Okay. Um, let me craft... No, I can't craft revives. Okay, do I have revives at least? No, I don't. Okay, that's uh, annoying. That's unfortunate. Well, whatever. Let's just go. Let's just go catch this hair cross. Um, what can we do? We can go for... Silver Wind, we can go for Ancient Power. Uh, let's go for Ancient Power. Okay. That's decent. That, that's very decent. Double Edge, Hercules is gonna get hurt too. But that's fine. Another Ancient Power. Oh, come on. No, come on. I wasn't expecting that. Oh... Okay, well, of course, Ancient Power raises defensive stats. Yeah, yeah, I miscalculated that completely. Well, okay, next time. Maybe next time I will catch Heracross, but well, for now... Oh, everything is super effective against this guy. Um, items, no, Pokémon... Let's go with... no, Bulldoze. Even if it is not very effective, Bulldoze is gonna be too much, I think. Uh, even Thundershock might be too much, but, well, let's give it a try. And if I defeat Paras, then so be it. So be it. I still need to defeat Paras anyway, I'm sure that's one of the tasks in the Pokédex page, so... Okay, cool. That's great. That's great. So... Let's go for another Thundershock. Stun Spore, well, I don't care much about that. Um, Luxray is not affected, which is great. So time to use, time to use the Ultra Ball. All right, you caught Paras, very cool. Um. Yeah, it's very annoying that I that I lost Ponita. That's unfortunate and, and annoying at the same time. So I need to get here, but uh, hmm, I don't have a camp nearby. the The nearest camp is here. I will have to then walk all the way back. But uh, okay, I guess I will do it. I will heal my Pokemon. Maybe I can try getting some items. Uh, I have some things in the storage, but, uh, well, we'll see. Uh, I will just heal and then I will make all the way back to to the mountain. So I will probably cut this part out and, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Actually, <laughs> actually seconds, thanks to the magic of editing. All right, I'm back. I did a little bit of... Uh, well, I healed my Pokémon first of all, then I also took the chance to... Is that a Paras? I think it's a Paras. Uh... I also took the chance to make a little bit of a space in my satchel because I'm always running out of a space. So I thought, okay, I might as well 
put in the item storage uh, whatever I don't need um, at this very moment and uh, that way it will make my life a little bit easier, you know, I will make some space for myself. Uh, I can see some gold ducks in here, which is nice, which is cool. But, uh, well, I'm not super interested in them for now. I kind of prefer to catch Psyduck and then evolve it. Ah, oh, no, what are you doing? Oop, it's gonna see me. No? Oh, I got lucky there. Let's see, let's get close. Nice. Very nice. And there we go. Yeah, I'm kind of more interested in catching Psyduck and then evolving it rather than catching Golduck directly because I also need to catch Psyduck, so I might as well... Oh, come on. Do both. Then again, I will probably need to... I will probably need to battle Golducks as well, so... Oh, there's a Standler there. So at some point I'm gonna have to face them, but for now... I think it's gonna be enough to. It's gonna be enough to catch the Psydax for now. Uh, let's. Uh, oh, I don't have the spray here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the spray now. Actually, do I even need the spray? Because I think from here I can just throw the ball of mud. Yeah, and now I get close. I use this and hope for the best. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. I mean, the thing with the spray is it allows you to get close to Stantler, but I was already close, so... No need to use the spray. Which is great. I can save it for later. Oh! Look who it is! Another Heracross. Nice. Okay. Um, Let's uh, see. What can I do? I can do Ancient Power. And let's not make the same mistake again. I suppose now I will use the back type move. I will use the Silver Wind, I believe. It's not very effective against Heracross. So as I suspected, it doesn't uh, defeat it, which is great. And now let's go for Silver Wind again, I guess. Alrighty, that's much better. That is much better. So... yeah. Now we can switch to the Ultra Balls. Let's hope for the best here. Okay, nice. We got the hair cross. Yoohoo! <laughs> Very cool, very cool. It's a very cool Pokemon, Heracross. And uh, I do remember trying to catch this guy in Brilliant Diamond uh, was uh, an absolute nightmare. Uh, it's one of those Pokemon that only shows up in trees and you, you have to you have to put honey in, in the trees, on the trees, and, uh, and hope that you get lucky enough that Heracross shows up. Which is not often the case, because it has a 1% chance of showing up. Only a 1% chance, which is very little. So, yeah, it's very annoying to try and catch her cross in that game. But here looks like it's not that annoying, so that's great. Thank you, game, for that. <laughs> that's very cool. Okay, let's... Let's see, where's the goal by the way? Oh, it's there. We're getting close now. We're getting close. We're gonna pick the plants, the stones, all that we need for later use. But uh, yeah, we're doing... We're doing pretty good. There's a lot of moth themes here. Which I'm gonna need to catch, I suppose, slash defeat as well. I'm gonna need both things. I'm gonna need catching them and defeating them, so I might as well just go and fight them now, because why not? Let's go the safe uh, the safe route. Or the safe route, I think I should say. Uh, 
And uh, also because we're getting close to evolving Ponita. I just need to level it up one more time, I think. And that should do it. So we might as well be a little more proactive about it, right? So let's defeat this guy. And there's another one right there. This is gonna be quick, so I might as well do that now. Oh, this is an alpha? Oh, I didn't notice. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's annoying. I didn't notice it was an alpha Pokemon. Can I run away? You decided to battle some other time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Bonita. I'm really sorry about this. I'm really, really sorry about this. I didn't notice it was a, an alpha Pokemon. No, come on, what are you doing? Don't waste the Pokeballs, man. Don't waste them. What's the big idea? Putting back all the torches I spent ages tidying away. Do you get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impossible to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Yeah, I agree. Hmm, well, this just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokémon in that cave who prefer the dark. But now you loots or louts or whatever have put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokémon. How will you proceed, Django? Well, okay, I mean, I'm gonna have to battle this guy. Not much of a choice, right? Go, Skunk Tank, show this loud the true meaning of silent but deadly. Okay, Skunk Tank, huh? Uh, oh, it's a dark and poison type, which means Drift Blim is a horrible choice. Because this has no effect and this is not very effective, so... I think I should go with... Uh, maybe Ursaring. Let's go with Ursaring. So Dark type is weak against Fairy and then... The, but there's Poison. And Poison is strong against Fairy, so Fairy is not gonna be... Yeah, it's just effective, right? But Bulldoze is super effective, so this is a... Um, this is a different story. The good thing is that I have two turns in a row, which is very cool. So this is gonna be very straightforward, I believe. Yeah, exactly. Battle decided. Nice. And Drift Bling levels up, which is cool. Listen here, neither I nor Skunk Tank admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to afford Skunk Tank time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance if you think about it. Keep your guard up. We'll be back. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. What a lively character. To say the least. <laughs> I cannot fathom Warden Melly's intentions. But for now, let us press on. Okay. Oh, no, 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 Absolutely not. Absolutely not. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokémon. Ah, there you are, Ingo. Oh, this guy. Hello. Volo, was it? What is the matter, sir? I wanted to ask about that memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could have somehow been caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the rift is to blame, but then again I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home, nor my family, if I had any. So you might do better to pose your questions to Django, I think, if it's to do with that rift. Indeed, well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. How about you then, Django? 
Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of that drift? Was there anything inside? Uh, maybe something... Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever it is, whatever is on the other side of that drift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that this same space-time rift also appeared in Haisui in the distant past. Oh, okay. Okay, but that's an info I didn't have. <laughs> that's why we already had a name for it as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it is Almighty Sinos realm. But then that begs the question, why has the space-time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would Django have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I am a mere admirer of ruins and little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that task to Django. Until next time, then. Okay, bye-bye. So this guy knows a little more than, than he seemed to know in the beginning, so that's interesting. Once we're through here, it will be just a little further. Let us move with a speed, but not haste. Okay. A little bit of backstory there, uh, which is cool. We learn a little bit more uh, as we move on. And uh, yeah, for now, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and see you in the next video.